The Saturn II was a series of American expendable launch vehicles, studied by North American Aviation under NASA contract in 1966, derived from the Saturn V rocket used for the Apollo lunar program. The intent of the study was to eliminate production of the Saturn IB, and create a lower-cost heavy launch vehicle based on Saturn V hardware. North American studied three versions with the SIC first stage removed, the INT-17, a two-stage vehicle with a low Earth orbit payload capability of 47,000 pounds the INT-18, which added Titan UA-1204 or UA-1207 strap-on solid rocket boosters, with payloads ranging from 47,000 pounds to 146,400 pounds, 66,400 kilograms, and the Int 19, using solid boosters derived from the Minuteman missile first stage. For this study, the Boeing company also investigated configurations designated INT-20 and INT-21 which employed its SIC first stage, and eliminated either North American's S-2 second stage, or the Douglas SIVB third stage. Budget constraints led to cancellation of the study and exclusive use of the Space Shuttle for orbital payloads. Topic Concept There was a large payload gap between the Saturn IB's 46,000 pound kilograms) low Earth orbit capacity and the Saturn V's 310,000 pound (140,000 kilograms) capability. In the mid-1960s NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center MSFC initiated several studies to extend the capabilities of the Saturn family. NASA specified a LEO of 100 nautical miles 185 kilometers, 28 degrees inclination for payload calculations, and the studies examined a number of modified launch vehicle MLV configurations based on the Saturn IB and Saturn V launch vehicles as well as intermediate payload INT launch vehicles based on modified Saturn V stages MSIC, MS2, and MSIVP. B. Martin Marietta, builder of Atlas and Titan rockets, Boeing, builder of SIC first stages, and North American Aviation, builder of the S2 second stage, were three of the companies that provided responses. North American considered the best way to fill the gap was to use the Saturn V's second stage, the S2, as the first stage of an intermediate launch vehicle. The basic concept of the Saturn II was to save money by ceasing production of the Saturn IB rocket, and replacing it with launch vehicles built entirely with current Saturn V components. This would allow closing down Chrysler Space Division production lines for the SIB first stage, and would allow for more efficient integration of rocket systems. Topic. Design The baseline for the Saturn II was a Saturn V, without the Boeing-built SIC first stage. The Saturn V's second stage S2 became the first stage, and the non-restartable SIVB-200 used on the Saturn IB became the second stage. Such a vehicle could not fly without modification, because the S-2 was designed to operate in the near vacuum of high-altitude space. Atmospheric thrust suppression reduced the five Rocketdyne J-2 engines 1 million pounds force 4, of vacuum thrust to 546,500 pounds force 2, kilonewtons at sea level, insufficient to lift the 1,364,900 pound weight of the two stages, even without a payload, off of the ground. 
This required that the S-2 be either refit with higher thrust engines, augmented with solid rocket boosters, or both. Another design variable was the amount of the full 1,005,500 pounds propellant load carried in the S2 and 241,300 pounds kilograms in the SIVB stage. Before any version could be put into production, work on all Saturn variants was stopped in favor of launching all future payloads from the Space Shuttle. <laughs> Saturn Int-17 The Saturn Int-17 was the first version of the Saturn II to be considered. It replaced the first stage's five J-2 engines with seven higher thrust HG-3 SL engines, giving 1,334,000 pounds force kilonewtons of sea level thrust. It would burn a reduced S2 propellant load of 986,000 pounds kilograms in 200 seconds. The vehicle had a LEO payload capability of 92,000 pounds kilograms) with a gross weight of 1,112,000 pounds kilograms). The reduced payload permitted a savings of 660 pounds (300 kilograms) in structural weight, and emitting the SIVB restart capability saved 1,500 pounds (700 kilograms). This configuration was dropped when it was determined that the HG3 SL could not compete with the J2 in terms of overall performance, reliability, and cost-effectiveness. This required the addition of booster stages in order to provide more takeoff thrust. Topic: <laughs> Saturn Int 18. The Saturn Int 18 would have used the standard S2 with J2 engines, augmented by two or four Titan SRBs. The UA-1204 and UA-1207 boosters were considered, with the highest total impulse configuration using four UA-1207 boosters, capable of placing 146,000 pounds of payload into low Earth orbit. Designers considered changing the amount of fuel loaded into the rocket, and whether to ignite the S-2 stage on the ground, or whether to launch using the solids, and start the main stage in flight. Two versions omitted the SIVB stage. The following configurations were studied. Saturn in 19. The Saturn Int 19 would have used smaller solid boosters, derived from the first stage of the Minuteman missile, to supplement the thrust of the S-2. Eleven configurations were studied, using between four and twelve solids, with some being started at lift-off, and some being started in flight, and varying propellant loads in the Saturn stages. The S-2 stage would have been modified by refitting the J-2 SL engines with reduced expansion ratio nozzles, to increase sea level thrust to 174,400 lb force per engine. The highest total impulse configuration would have used 12 boosters, with 8 started at launch and 4 started after the first group had been jettisoned. It would have been capable of lofting a payload of 75,400 pounds kilograms. The following configurations were studied. See also Apollo Applications Program Saturn Int-20 
Saturn Int 21 equals equals notes <laughs>